We have here a chest x-ray PA view of a young patient who has come to us with history of fever since about three weeks. There's also some history of cough. So a simple chest x-ray PA view has been done and we take a few seconds off and just look at what we can see on this radiograph. So we should have spotted the abnormality by now. What we do see is very tiny diffuse uh, rounded opacities seen in both lung fields and uh, there's no lymphadenopathy that we see on this x-ray either the high limb or in the paratracheal region. No pleural effusion, no infiltrates or consolidation. So a very fine diffuse tiny nodular pattern seen across both lung fields and this picture is classical of uh, a miliary mottling. So there are various causes of miliary mottling as we know but the primary cause uh, in India in our country is that of tuberculosis. So that is usually your first diagnosis. There are of course other causes as well that we can see. Besides tuberculosis we look at sarcoidosis. There could be infective causes especially in uh, immunocompromised patients where fungal infections can give rise to such a pattern. A healed varicella pneumonia can also give rise to this pattern though those lesions would be slightly larger and are very often calcified. Metastasis is another differential that we need to consider especially those arising from breast could be the kidneys, the pancreas and also melanomas. Other unusual causes could be in pneumoconiosis again in pneumoconiosis the lesions would be slightly larger and we do not see it uh, very often nowadays but uh, we can also see this finding in uh, pulmonary hemosiderosis that can occur when there is a very severe mitral stenosis. And uh, the next step usually we may end up doing a CT scan where you see these small uh, miliary nodules seen scattered on both sides of the lungs. You might of course end up seeing uh, other signs of tuberculosis like hyalur or mediastinal lymphadenopathy with caseation necrosis and sometimes you might find infiltrates also which may not be seen on the chest x-ray. So in summary, whenever we end up seeing miliary mottling on x-ray, tuberculosis is usually the first diagnosis we end up giving. But based on the clinical symptoms of the patient and uh, other related findings, lab correlation as well as a CT scan, you might be wanting to exclude sarcoidosis and other conditions as we have described a little earlier.